Hey guys, hi Rulian here. Welcome to a brief video where I'm going to discuss the new and upcoming social media network site for gamers called Player.me. I stumbled upon this website while browsing my Reddit page, and it looks pretty cool, so I found out how to get beta access, and I got it now, and I'm going to show you guys how it is. So if you go to the web address, um, it's actually a really small one, Player dot me player dot me which is on your screen now if you want to uh click to it um it'll take you there which shouldn't take that long but my internet's being slow today and uh yeah you can sign up which does not take that long and uh yeah using the link that i have on your screen now you can be referred to from me and get instant access to the website where if you sign up through other means you'll have to wait till they start giving out beta codes again um, but here is the main page that you get, right? Um, this is called the the feed, I believe. Yes, it's called the feed. And uh, here is kind of like it's kind of like Twitter. You see all this uh, wonderful video updates. Like here's the Hoovian Hyrulean automated. It's fully automated uploading videos to this thing. So here you can see the newer videos by Hoovian. Bear in mind this is a little bit of an older video probably from when it's coming out and then I I have followed like I Chun and Captain Sparkles and Paul Source Jr. just a few people that I f found that were on there already so yeah I decided to follow them um and yeah it's really cool so I can be like uh, I can be like hey guys I really in here this is just the coolest website ever and then I can hit post which I tried to reach for my mouse, but I don't have it plugged in. <laughs> All right, yeah, and then people can uh, comment. They can pin it, which I believe makes it so it pops up in this area here, and it's kind of like a way of like following the post to make sure people are applying and see who's replying and stuff. Um, you can like it, which is basically sort of like Facebook. And yeah, you can do a lot of stuff. And the way I explain this to my friends is it's a mixture of Facebook and Twitter. And then it has the ability to send to any of those things. Like, um, here I'll show you my profile. So if you click on your picture here, you get the profile. And uh, here's the profile. And it shows everybody that you're following. Well, not all of them, but it shows some of them. And uh, here's some videos that I... Um, I had posting on my account automatically that I decided to stop doing since I created the Hoovian Hyrulean one. But yeah, um, so, and then you have a couple different sections for your videos which you can upload and set them to automatically upload if you have a YouTube channel, which is handy. Um, images, which you can upload images and of games or just real life or whatever you want. And then this is the really cool part, right? You have a game section which in here you can list every game you've ever played like in here is every game that I've ever played and I'm working on the list it does not have every game right now but it has a lot of games that I've played and uh, it's pretty handy like it, it looks pretty cool too look I've got all my Legend of Zelda games that I've played on here um, Cube World which is yeah and you can oh I have a notification that's what that sound was if you were wondering um, and yeah, you can see all the games that I'm playing on here, or that I've played on here. And you can filter it with, like, games that I've completed, which I don't really... I haven't really gotten to organizing those yet. Um, currently playing games, which here's the Stanley Parable, which I got recently. Half-Life 2 Episode 1, which I'm playing off-camera. Spirit Tracks, Binding of Isaac, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, which I'm playing off-camera. Amnesia, Back to the Future of the Game, and Unturned, which I've been playing a little bit recently. Um, and then you can also, here's my favorite games. I've got Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, Minecraft, Super Mario Sunshine, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Portal 2. Um, you can see games that I own, which I have not filtered that out really, but I did put that I own the orange box because I figured why not. Um, and then PlayStation Network games you have, Steam games you have, which I haven't added anything from that yet. Games that you're willing to trade with people if they want to, like games that you have as gifts on your Steam that you want to trade with people. Um, wish list for all the games you wish you had. Uh, and then there's Xbox Live games, which you could get on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Um, so yeah, I'll just set this to favorites. Um, and, and then here's the groups. Um, with the groups plugin, you can create like your own groups for like, uh, say you have like 
this group of people you play with on Call of Duty and you call yourself, like, the ultimate swag masters or something. You can connect with them here, which is always good. Activities, and this shows everything that I've done, or it'll show everything that you've done if you uh, create your own account. Um, and yeah, and then there's the overview where it has my brief description, which says I upload a YouTube personality, Legend of Zelda games, blah, blah, blah. And then there's even more, like there's a big bio where I talk about Skyrim being influential and some other games that I stumbled upon. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the settings area. So here's the settings area. Um, and here you can set your username and email. Um, allow and set all your security settings, like allow people to instant message, allow followers to see me online. You can make it private. Um, you can enable the feed in the background. And then, uh, here is where you can set your invite code. This is what will be the link that you guys follow, so you can get instant access instead of having to wait until the, um, the website becomes official, or if you get invited via the people who created the website inviting you. Um, and then here you can set your notification tone, which I was actually going to set now. Um, so I'll set it to Navi. Hey, listen! Yep, there we are. Lovely. Now Navi will pop up whenever I have a notification. Um, which... Ooh, I have somebody who replied to my post that I literally just posted. Welcome! Huh. That's pretty cool. That... I literally just posted that in some random person. Hit me back or any. Um, and then I can set my messaging tone, which I'll set to rupees. <laughs> oh, that's going to get annoying, actually. What is this? Okay, that's even more annoying. Let's see. Um, TF2, hit sound. Let's see, Pikmin. Um, I might just set it to something... What's this? Okay, that's even more annoying. Uh, Left 4 Dead, beep. Ooh, okay, we'll do that one. We'll do that one. Um, the tones are pretty loud. That's why I'm one complaint right now. The volume of the tones, like right now, my volume setting is set to maximum, but still, it's pretty loud. Um, and here you can set your privacy settings, and you can block users. You can link accounts, which I have the Whovian Hyrule account linked. I'm not entirely sure what that does, but I think it makes it so, like, anything that you post will be automatically posted to the other account as well. Um, you can change your password. You can set your account to a group which I'm not sure quite how that works, and of course you can delete your account. Why am I getting notifications? What what did I do wrong? I've only been on here for like, today. Yeah, what is going on? <laughs> okay, well this is weird. I just posted, hey, and people are like, hello. That's pretty cool. Like, this feels like a very welcoming community. Like, I'm literally reviewing this right now. Thank you. Alright, there we are. So we responded to them. And, yeah, this is pretty much the site. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you is some different things that you can do. When you set up your account, um, you'll get to set up your avatar, which I have my Minecraft character set as my avatar, of course. Um, my links and profiles. So here you can put in your personal website, your Facebook, your Twitter, which I haven't set yet, my Twitch streaming channel. Um, the YouTube channel, which I would have set to Hoovy and Hyrulean, but it automatically uploads new videos, which I don't want on this account. Um, Hitbox for live streaming, Google+, Plus, which I have linked to my Google+, Plus account if you guys want to hit me up on there. Steam, which I'm planning on adding if you guys want to friend me on Steam. PlayStation Network, if you have that, and Xbox Live Gamer Tag. Your Partron page, so your viewers can pay you money, which I don't personally do, but I hear it's pretty good. And then GitHub, if you have, like, code or something that you want to share, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and basically, that's about it for this review of the website, guys. It's a really great website, and as long as the community remains as amazing as it is, as you guys could see from me just getting replies on everything, it should be a great website for you guys to use. And I forgot to mention, there's also instant messaging, so if you have, like... Yeah, if you have, like, friends on here, you can instantly message them, just like on Google+. It's like every social network has been shoved into one and made to fit gamers. And it's it's just really nice, and I think you guys should try it out. <laughs> Time to get fame. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you guys can check it out. It's a really good site. And if you want to friend me or follow me or whatever you do on this site, I'm Hyrulean. Just search me up. I think I'm the only Hyrulean, because I think you can only have one username. Um, 
And there I am. Oh wow, I'm getting a lot of replies. Um, and yeah, and in here, you've got your games and your groups and everything. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure you check out player.me. It is an amazing site. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.